Hi guys, Thomas Friends 47 here, and today we're taking a look at the new Push Along Merlin the Invisible. Now, this was an engine that, you know, I really like Merlin as a character, and when I saw that he had a Push Along model, I wanted to get it, but I never got it while it was available. And I have one version, but it was part of the animal set, so when I saw that they had just a plain version of him, I wanted to go ahead and pick it up. Anyway, this is the packaging, kind of plain, but we're used to that now. The bottom and then the top of the packaging, and then we're going to take a look at the engine out of the box. Alright, so the first thing that you notice about Merlin here is he's a nice silver color. You know, it's not like the Trackmaster model where it's that reflective silver, this is more of a matte silver, but I still don't mind. Um, the engine is metal, the tender is not. That's plastic, but it's still very crisp printing. I like how it has the nameplate there, the gold details. A lot of great detail on this engine. And of course, the number on the tender. As for the front of the engine, You'll see here that they've done a great job capturing Mer uh, Merlin's likeness, and I really like they put the highlight in the eyes. I think this just makes the model so much better. You can also see, of course, the three funnels on the top. Here's the other side, which is basically the same, but that's okay. Alright, and then here's the back of the engine and the back of the tender, and then a view of the front of the tender as well. I hate how they put the buffers on the wrong end of these push along models. Alright, now here's the top of the engine. You'll, again, you'll see the three funnels, gold painted details there, and of course the painted coal load and the water valves on the tender. As for the bottom of the engine, you'll see that Merlin's name is printed on the bottom of the engine. He has that new wooden railway style there, but the tender is basically the same from the last model. Alright, so all in all, I think this is a great model. I like when they make the classic versions and not just some paint splattered or rainbow splattered engine. I think it's actually pretty cool, um, but I plan on using this one as I am with Rebecca with my push along slash take and play engines because they're more in scale to those rather than track faster. But anyway, that's my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye for now. <laughs>